Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to Steven University Season 4, Episode 22, The Good Lars. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm sorry if I was too soft uh, in my ending, because uh, uh, I thought someone was outside, and uh, that wasn't, so uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode, we saw uh, Steven and Con Connie kind of, kind of coming back into their own lives, and we saw uh, Mr. Maheshwaran. Uh, in the last episode, which was quite interesting for me because I've never seen Mr. Maheshwaran or at least don't remember seeing him. Um, I hope this episode we have a little bit more of the gems, but based on the title, I, I think it's gonna be more on Lars and CD, uh, which is not a real big problem, it's just that um, maybe, you know, we've waited this long and uh, there's gonna be more filler I feel like this is considered um, you know non important plot points to spur the uh, series on but you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's just as it is on the on the ground so anyway let's go yeah again I'm not gonna put it in full screen because uh, it's gonna lag my computer are the crystal gems will always save the day and if you think we can't, we'll always find a way That's why the people on this world Believe in Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Steven Uh, yeah, the good Lars Um, in my personal opinion, I don't really like Lars, but I think he's just okay It's a pumpkin pudding Oh, pumpkin bread. Nice. Uh, you know. It's a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Aww. <laughs> you sure, bro? Aw oh, man, that's... that's skilled. Yeah, I mean, that's, that makes sense. Uh, you good, bro? <laughs> He's like, cool. I, 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 that's from a show. If anyone should go, it's me. Just try, bro. Alright, no harm in being a perfectionist, but... What about a creme brulee? What about donuts? Ube? Oh, ubi. Sorry, uh, in Malaysia it's called Ubi, like UBI. So, uh, Ubi means, um, Ubi means, uh, yam. Yeah. 
so I don't know what language they were going for, like Ube, maybe Japanese, but Malaysia is Ubi, U B I, and that's a spring roll. Uh, no, sorry, that's a Swiss roll, basically. That is Swiss roll, not Ubi. Ubi is the the yam yeah, again, a vegetable. He works at a... Uh, oh! And make another one. <laughs> Bro, don't eat it. Like... So what, bro? Come on. Nah, bro. Yeah, they they don't care. They'll probably tease you, but that's just part of being friends, you know. That Lars is full of surprises. Nice. <laughs> nice. Everybody is getting into it. Mm. I think he's scared, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. On the pun there, but okay. Don't you worry about a thing, babe. <laughs> Beanbags are inherently awesome. Nice. <laughs> He's probably still at home.
She's got a good singing voice. Ooh, sweet. I like that the background is kind of like chalky. Yeah, <laughs> like they don't care at all. <laughs> Them again, it's the okay, okay. So we've we've got a we've got a connecting storyline here. Uh, we see the the big guy and the floating thing again. So that I think that's gonna be the mystery that they'll uh, keep going on in the next episode as well. So it's gonna be like in the next episode, it's gonna be big. Uh, okay, I I wouldn't talk about this episode because th there's something to talk about, which is Lars. Um, okay, I personally don't really like Lars, like, in a person way, because he's kind of mean, vindictive, that kind of stuff, but, uh, I think, you know, he's, he's an overthinker, like me, like, sometimes I overthink things when I make friends, or, you know, I feel insecure about myself, because I'm, I'm kind of weird, and, you know, I'm a kind of guy, like, that loves to express my opinions, but sometimes people don't like that, so I have to keep it up. Like, so it's like I understand where Lars is coming from, and also the arguments that maybe he should be more into getting to know them kind of way, like the cool kids, so to say. But I think that it uh, transcends into more of the the reason why he should go with them than uh, being an introvert because he seems to be the kind of guy who wants to be with the cool kids but is scared that he will like weird himself out so that he won't fit in anymore but you know what like life is about weirding yourself out until people are like you know what I like that guy he's doing his own thing it's fine with me he's not hurting anyone as long as you're not hurting anyone I think it should be fine um, so yeah that was my <laughs> Wisdom of the day. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was about it, guys. I will see you in the next episode. See you then. Mm -hmm.